Hello MechWarriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries, Heroes of the Inner Sphere, Merc Tech with Pirate Tech and all of the other mods. Guys, we're gonna continue our playthrough. I was rewatching the last mission. I don't know why, but our Phoenix Hawk just came from about 100% life to 0% and then he blew up. We have to deal with that now. We have a damaged Phoenix Hawk that we might as well just destroy completely because why would i bother repairing and refitting it if i don't even like the mech so therefore we're gonna go ahead and sell this thing right away for very little money oh god and we are just playing with three mechs at this point we need to get enough money to buy another mech i mean we have enough money to buy another mech and that leads me to think that i should take a look at the star map and uh ooh, that's a war zone yeah, we're gonna play that and then we're gonna do it all right so let's get into our good old friend the uh, champion, get that up and running again. Just repairing everything and getting the um, the ammo outfitted again is good. And I actually got a camo pattern for everybody. Look at that. I like this. It's the Marik camo pattern. I think it fits because we started in Marik space and it's a little bit of a different color than the standard pattern. Going for a nice dark base tone with some highlights that are very saturated. That's what I like to do. Cool. So, we're gonna play the uh, high reward quest, and I think after we are done with that, we're gonna go ahead and we will go to an industrial hub to see if we can pick up something, anything. Oh man, we need four max, that's the thing. Alright, play the war zone. Play it for... yeah, salvage. Funny thing is, we only got 200 tons anyway, so we couldn't even fit the other Phoenix Hawk even if we wanted to. And that's gonna be our lance. 42 days for mission start. Oh, you are injured. Okay, got it. Did the other guy die? No, no, you were on the Phoenix Hawk. You were the injured dude. Mm-hmm. It's okay. I'll take somebody with good energy and decent evasion. I guess it's you, Kevin. Uh, let's go for it. So... Launching with only three mechs. Feels a bit crippled, but I think we can get it done anyway because it's a war zone. Enemies will come in waves. And I think um, we have a pretty solid mech here in our champion to deal with what is coming. Let's do it. Clear of the, um, the existing enemy forces. Alright, so we have four enemies that are basically already attacking. I cannot wait to actually have some... You know, have some equipment, some engines, some weapon upgrades. Yeah, let's go with that. Alright, Phoenix, you are bumping into me! You shake my gyro! Well, I go for this guy first. Right. Blammo! I love this gun, this is so cool. Um... I'm thinking about my heat management right now. And the stinger is baiting a lot of heat out of me. I should really be quick with the kill. Okay, we got him. Now back to the Centurion because that thing is very scary. I will even go with lasers here so that we can kill quicker. Ah, I see. I need to aim a little bit more left in order to actually hit. My auto cannon is a bit... A bit more to the right side. Yeah. Which means that sometimes I am missing my shot, although I'm kind of on target with my reticle. Yeah, it's because of weapon convergence. That was good. So far. Our Phoenix Hawk took a beating already, which is not that great. But okay. So that's it. First part of the mission at the very least. Let's get into the base and then we're gonna wait for the, the bad guys to come. Also, I should go in cold. Attention. Yeah. They are converging on your position. Brace for hostile contact. That's not good. The right arm of the Phoenix Hawk where the large laser sits is damaged already. That's a lot of firepower that we would lose. Alright guys, I'd say... Hmm. You with me? You. I want you to come with me. We have some friends that can still... Oh, that's a really bad uh, velocity here. Got him. Yeah, we want to take it slow. I want my friendlies, my AI friendlies, um, my allies here to engage first, so we are not taking all the damage. Fire starter first target, definitely. 
Do we even need to engage that? We got some missiles. Got some long-range missiles here. Maybe it's better to wait. Since they cannot really attack the helicopter. Thanks to their rather low range. On the fire starter. I mean, the medium lasers could. It's fine. Let's go in. Pew! No pew. My missiles wouldn't hit. Or wouldn't shoot at all. Mm, that's weird. As you can see, the time to kill is also a little bit higher than in the normal base game. And I will let the fire starter go and come back. We're gonna change target towards the stinger here. <laughs> that auto cannon. Oh, I realize what happened. I'm holding down my thumb button, but if I hit shift to go for arm lock, the weapon wouldn't fire. My SRM's not coming out, that's the problem. I'm just holding two buttons at the same time. Wow. My auto cannon aim is bad. Why? Huh. Nope. No, whatever. <laughs> Let's go with the Igor. Uh, no, it's a warrior. Never mind. It's not an Igor. It's a different model, though. Different model from uh, the other regular warriors. Sadly, I do not have arms, so I cannot aim into the sky with this mech. That is not at all possible. Something's here. I like that the tanks also have multiple hitboxes now. Very nice. Where, where's that VTOL that the people are talking about? Oh, there he is! <laughs> All the way. It's so high. All right. Yeah, you got it, guys. You got it. Oof! Something in the back is shooting at us. Guns blazing. We got him. We got him quickly. Cool, cool, cool. Oh god, that's a lot. That is a lot, guys. That's a hell lot of stuff. Come on, missiles. The SRM's actually, actually tracing. That's so cool. Got that guy. Somebody's right over us. Right above us. That is an Igor. Get some missiles here, buddy. Or just die. That's perfect. Yeah, I would say we have some very interesting targets here. With some very interesting salvage in the end. I see! Look at this! The weapon spreads like crazy! That's why I'm sometimes hitting and sometimes I do not. Oh, there is a huge AC spread. Got it. Nice. It's good to know. And also, I like the mechanic. Okay. That's hurt the commando a lot. Ow. I'm getting hit. There we go. Alright, so. The javelin was the one that we are supposed to destroy for the cantina mission. So let's do that as well. Recon reports additional forces entering the engagement area, Commander. I like this mech. I like this fight here as well. And I like learning the new mechanics. So let me quickly see. I cannot see because it's so... Huh? So smoky, I wanted to say. Hmm, now we're getting surrounded. I don't like that Wolverine. Yeah, you know what? You guys come with me. I'm gonna disengage from the center fight. I think we have enough people to actually deal with that. Right, I was just through the armpits three times. <laughs> All right, let's get some missiles in here. So we take the panther out first, and then we will go and uh, turn around. Get that wolverine out of the field as well. My gyro is full. <laughs> Crazy. Here we go. Man, it feels less impactful when I'm shooting my weapons now. Because the... I don't know, the armor values are different. Or the damage values, I think. Gyro is full. I cannot move. Friends? Uh-oh. 
Oh no. That's bad. I I cannot I want to, but I cannot maneuver. That's crazy. Alright, let's get out of here. Ooh boy. Turn around. Get I would say we're gonna try to take the tanks first. If we can at all hit them. Ah, let's go with missiles. And laser beams. They're a little bit more accurate. Uh, next up is the Wolverine, right? I mean, there's also the jab. Wolverine is just here right now. Give him hell, come on! My mech is getting torn apart, and I'm not a fan of it. And we have to destroy those, that's the thing. It's unbelievable. We are not able to get those missiles out of them. Uh, those, those autocannons. Um, no, shutting down is not an option right now. Let's get out of here. Ugh, it's so sluggish. I don't want to be here. We got the autocannon. That's good. Got some more missiles. Not great. Next target, by the way, is definitely the Javelin, because he's giving me hell. Come on, Wolby. Oh, no. I'm gonna... I'm gonna die here. What? This is not how I, how I was uh, expecting this. Let, let's get out of here. Where are my freaking friends? Can you please engage? Everything is burning. But funnily enough, it's still okay. I'm gonna stay out of the fight for a while. So where did the jab go? Kill that thing, please. Quickly. Haha, <laughs> there's a carry as well. Got him. Did not see him. Was one of the guys who probably hit me a lot as well. Yeah. My mechs don't look great anymore. Okay, what about the ACE? Okay. Attack guy, it's just attack. I'm just gonna use my auto- Actually, I can use my missiles as well. Ooh, that's helpful. That is very helpful. Can we make it? I, I think we can make it. Nice. And now the cicada, which is coming in as well. Uh oh, he's actually going for me. Oh, the missile trails. So good. But why is the auto cannon so damn uh, dusty? Sorry. Didn't want to frantify you, buddy. I think we are going all in now. Um, instead of running backwards, I'm running forwards. And I'm running backwards. <laughs> I mean, running away from the fight, you know. Yeah, give me some missile support. I mean, lagging, right? That's what we're gonna do. Ugh, we'll try it at the very least. It's not helping that he's running a flamer. 94% heat. Oh, he's behind the thing. Great. Come on. Get wrecked. He doesn't. Oh, my mech. <laughs> Look at my mech. I mean, everything is burning, but we are still alive. If we could only hit through... Not not through, but his legs. Stay still. Alright, we got this. We got this. I'm going all in. Alright. Um, um, let's get out of here. We're a little bit slow. I know. That's because of the heat. <laughs> 
I, it's, it's unbelievable that we still have a full mag. Things are burning. Uh oh. Is that internal damage that we are taking? I have no idea. Let's get out of here as quickly as possible. Oh yeah, I think we are actually getting uh, structural damage there. All right, cool. Commander, we got them. We've we got this. Son and several other prisoners from the complex. Oh no. The oh no. Worked. Oh no. I want to get out of here. The helicopters are shooting. Ooh. <laughs> this is actually getting into a big challenge. I don't know about the time to kill. The longer the time to kill, the more dangerous the missions actually get because usually you could just say okay i have very good pinpoint damage weapons that can easily take enemies out i'm gonna take you 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 and you don't even get to return fire but since they take so long and our heat gauge is our limiting factor that is a problem i will take the centurion maybe so the sand doesn't come with an engine it's a very good weapon platform though the thing is, the Javelin could be run directly because it still has its 180 engine. We can bring that as our fourth mech to the battlefield again. And it's a good one, it's the missile one. This would require us to take a lot of money into our hands. I think it's still the better choice though. Yeah, I want that. Let's also take a good AC5, uh, like a tier 1 AC5. By the way, Oriente is uh, rate of fire 47. Alright, has a bit more damage per round than the others that we've seen. And I would say... Just a bit of value. Oh, a boy. I think at that point we can easily go for repair cost uh, coverage. Like some insurance. Hey, Shenzhen! Welcome in, man. That's cool. That's really cool. Look at this. There we go. 19 out of 42. That's a very good pilot early on. I'm pretty happy that we have him. Very, very good. Yo, guys, we gotta go somewhere and repair our stuff, shall we? Mm, we have seen that cantina already. Mm, there's something like a high reward quest. There's also one here. Maybe we just go to Fager home. Repair. Go to the black market here. Do we want to stay here? That's the question. Let's go to... Beetle? Beetlejuice? <laughs> uh, Shiba. Shiba is closer. Let's travel. Yeah. We will definitely do some repairs there and then we're gonna come back into the fight. The question is, uh, are we gonna pick up a mech that is available here on this industrial hub or do we outfit our uh, Centurion? Both is viable, I believe. It all comes down to how much do we actually have to invest into this mech. Higher pilots! Be in the hangar for pre-drop checklists. 13 out of 33. We can keep that guy for a while and then level him out until we get the next set of better pilots. 13 is a decent starting position. The other guys are at 10. Although we have 14, 15, 19. Looks good. So we can basically just... Kick you out. I want to keep the other one. Sometimes we have something like fatigue and uh, injuries, so we'll keep that. Um, cool. Mech market. Uh, let's take a look around. I'm not going to take an urban mech. I'm not going to take a wasp. That settles it. We will build our centurion. Oh, God. Let's take a look. What? 166 rounds per minute. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> That's crazy. All right, get rid of that. Oh, we need a gyro. We need an engine. LRM can go. Oh, a boy. So what do we have even? We got those AC5s that we can add to the mech. I mean... Wait, we have Mech Warrior Online type hard points, right? Which means we got three missile hard points on that end. That's an option. Ooh. That's pretty interesting. But I think what I want to do is this year. I'll give him a bunch of SRM2s. And I'm going to take the uh, tier 2 and tier 1 over the SRM6s tier 0. Because of uh, their DPS, right? Damage per second is 0 0.8. 
0 0.2, 0 0.08. Wait a second. Why is the damage so low? Damage per missile is 2.5. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, no, because of the the amount of missiles that are shot. <laughs> sure. And yeah, uh, the damage per missile is 2.4 here, which is also 2.4. Hmm. This is a bit better. So we might be able to go for some sixes instead. We might even buy something. Let's check it out before we do anything else. Like those guys. Oh, hell yeah. I guess that's a thing that I want. Uh, da, 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 let me see. There is an LRM 20 tier 4. Costs a million C bills as well. Sure. Thunderstroke. Dudes, I need to learn all of these things and what they do. But I see a tier 3 SRM 4 and I like that. Seems very good. I'll buy three of them for a bit of money. I mean, we got the money, so we should invest. And I want some kind of engine. Let's see what we got here. You know what? 200 is, I think, fine for the mech. 260 might be a little bit overkill. Might be just what we need, though, in order to get the mech close. It could be just SRMs plus medium lasers and we ignore the ballistic. Average quality, that's fine. Alright. Guys, we got an engine. Cool. So we got that going for us. Uh, yeah, there is also different ammo types. Oh, by the way, I have a problem because I'm on a German keyboard. Um, the, the thing is, you can swap ammo types in-game by pressing backslash. Backslash is a combination of uh, multiple uh, modifiers for me. It's like shift and then uh, question mark on the German keyboard. How do I do that? What's the what's the button for it in German? Do you know that? Because I tried to swap ammo in a test run before and it, it, I couldn't do it. There was no ammo change because of my, my keyboard settings. Or is there any way to actually change the default button for ammo change? Again, I don't know. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> Can I give the engine back, please? Oh, no. Oh, we needed, we needed something like a, uh, like a structural upgrade or something. I guess that's what we're going to be doing then. Let me see. What can we what can we buy here? Is there anything that helps us out? Oh, we might gonna we might have to go back to the 200 rated one. Type A gyro. One ton only. Okay. That's all they got? Oof, bad. So what if what if we add a gyro? That also takes a ton. The 260 rated engine is too much, sadly. Should have checked it. Should have done the math, I guess. And it also seems like we don't have any internal upgrades. Yeah, no. Standard structure. Commercial armor. Commercial armor is helpful. Critical hit modifier is bad, though. I guess we're gonna take it. Somehow we have to. We have to make it work. And right now, this mech only consists of four SRM... Uh, sorry, three SRM4s. It's not great, but it's fast. That's the good news. All right, so let's get some ammo in. Um, let's go over here. Do, 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 do. Ammo is there. Right now, I'm going to just take some full tons. Sure, and I'll take a half ton. We're going to rearm everything. Take a little bit of back armor. Off the mech. And I think a little bit of... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go with the arm armor because there's nothing in there. I wanna keep that back armor. It's kind of important. Because the mech will be in the thick of the fight. The cooling is really good, seemingly. <laughs> what is that? What is going on here? Uh, some, some values are not right. But anyway... It's a mech that we have available in about a hundred days. Let's see. Or maybe not. What? What happened here? What? I just outfitted that thing. Come on. 
Those three SRMs um, get the engine. There's something really wrong. We're gonna take the commercial armor and we're gonna put the gyro type A in the mech and then we have something like an engine that's here. Yes, please. And then we need ammunition and everything is fine. So there's ammo. Half ton. Please not in the center. There we go. Refill, rearm. Speaking of arms, taking this off. Uh, 28, 28. Perfect. Start work. Phew. There we go. All right. So, got this going for us. Did anything got destroyed? No? Everything's fine? Okay. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, we will have to deal with a lot of a uh, lot of downtime here, but that's fine. Hey, there's a cantina. We're gonna go there, and then we're gonna play the next mission. Ooh, sorry for the long refit time, but I think I need that centurion in order to push uh, a little bit further. It's not the greatest mech in the world, and now that I got this, I think the javelin would have done the job just fine. Also with 12 SRMs, it's what we have on the centurion right now. It's not great, but it's good enough, I guess. Collect an urban mech. I just had one. Kill Igor. Sure. Alrighty. Anything here that we want? Let's take a look at the barracks. Finally. Got something for you looking for a dedicated gunner. 1836. Lieutenant Tate, welcome in. Alright. Any equipment that we want to pick up here? Let me quickly check. We got some SRM6s. SRMs early on are really good. We got some rifles, machine guns. More engines, but I think that is it. Mech Market says Stinger Locust, no problem. You know what, guys? We're gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna go over there and play the duel. Let's see if any of the mechs are ready. And I think technically, since we are playing a tier 10 mission, we can probably get it done with only two mechs. Should be doable. Ah, oh, man, this is so cool. Where do I want to go with this, by the way? Uh, I would say into heavy territory quite quickly. So let's see if we can get some more mediums in our land and then we play the higher tier missions. Alright, let's get some money, let's get some salvage. As I was saying, I think it's a good idea to get some damage coverage a little bit. And we have 145 really tons. Up, Your visibility will be limited out there. Yeah, it's fine. So you lost an arm anyway, you can stay here. And I definitely want the best pilot possible. 18 out of 36. No, wait a second. We got Shenzhen. You're the man, man. All right, and we are playing in a snowstorm. So what I don't like about my champion here, my heavy mech, is that the autocannon is so close to the cockpit. It's right next to our cockpit on the shoulder mount. And it blasts a lot of dust. And it kind of blinds us whenever we shoot that thing. So oh, that's the thing that I don't really enjoy, being completely blinded after each shot. Especially when you have a fast firing weapon, because it means that the, the, the dust cloud will be always there. And um, yeah, you're relying on hitting your targets more than once. It would be cool if you, know, you had enough time to shoot once, and then let the dust settle, and then, or the smoke, and then shoot again. I'm just randomly shooting. I don't even think that I'm dealing damage at that range. Well, let's go for the little one here. There we go. Yeah, we see a spider, we see a stinger, we see a Vulcan. Vulcan being the more dangerous target out of all of those, I think. Alright, let's stay on target. Missiles! Yeah, let's go for it. I mean, if we stay in motion... We get this result. And I believe, you know what? The bigger the mechs get and the less they try to evade, I think this is not gonna be an issue anymore. Whoops. Mm, I don't see anything. Frames are dropped. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna let my SRMs do the most work here, since they are also guided. It's crazy. Armor is gone and they are still running. But I think we got the Vulcan in a second. Also, we have to. Because we are actually getting quite hot here. Come on, buddy. Mm, not quite dead. 
I really gotta manage my heat. Therefore, I'm not shooting any laser right now. Way, we got him. Cool. Next up is, I would say, Mr. Stinger, because I don't like machine guns. Also, it's the Squishia target out of the boat. Let's go. Machine guns are nasty. They just, they are just annoying. And I don't know how it works with uh, through armor criticals here. So as soon as you have lost 25% of your armor, you can get criticals, even though you still have armor. Still, there's a chance only, but... Alrighty. So much smoke. Wait, where do you go, buddy? Bam, bam, bam. It is also so cool to see how the individual missiles are tracking their targets now. Uh, you know what? I go all in. Should I not? I'm not entirely sure if I have a chance to actually blow off my mag if I'm doing that. Uh huh. Man, this guy. There we go. We got him. Very solid round, I've got to say. We took minimal damage. All right. Yeah, it's definitely a different experience from the base game, just having that higher time to kill. It kind of feels like your weapons don't have such a big impact, which kind of makes it less stompy. But I kind of like the idea of being in an actual tank on two legs that can take a beating. All right, we'll take the stinger and some jump jets, I guess. Um, yeah, whatever, we'll take the jumpies. Sure, and then a heatsink, because sometimes you need heatsinks in order to build your things out. Alrighty, we got a stinger now. What are we doing with it? We're gonna definitely sell it. Sure. Alrighty. Yo, guys, I would say that was it for today. We're gonna continue our series the next time we see each other. And I wanna get my Centurion online and I wanna get some bigger trouble. I think we can easily go for missions that are tier 30 or higher. So that's my next goal. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.